My name's Paul Campbell. Uh, I'm the Quality and Safety Manager for Pendrick Height Services, um, which is based in Rosewell in Mid Midlothian. The simple reason for health and safety being in place is to make sure that somebody goes to their work and comes back safely. My role in this company is to make sure that each and every person is out there with proper information, instruction, training and are supervised to make sure that they are doing their job as safely as possible. I was a very sporting person. Um, I uh, enjoyed football and uh, that took up an awful lot of my time. So when I was at school, I dreamt about being a football player. Um, if I didn't succeed in being a football player, um, the fallback was that I wanted to go into some sort of the services, like the fire service or the police or something like that. And leaving school, I was playing semi-professional football, but I needed a career. Um, and uh, at that time, you had to be a certain height to get into the uh, police force, and I missed it by half an inch. And the saying at that particular time by everybody's parents was, get yourself a trade. Whether it be a joiner, bricky, electrician, something like that. So I did. Um, I went for this job and it was in printing and became uh, a printer. So, well, what went wrong with printing? Um, generally speaking, was the people. Um, the people changed at management level, changed at sharehold level. Um, some people at shop floor level changed and I found that uh, the people round about me were becoming, um, they weren't becoming very nice people to work with and I decided enough was enough. It was a career change and I had to retrain. Uh, and after being 22 years in one company, that was a major decision because you're going into the infamous unknown, shall we say. And that's very scary. And that's a very scary thing to do. Within that time, the illustrious football career fizzled out. Um, and once it did, you know, that was something that was a big part of my life. And then I decided that um, I had to keep going on the Saturday and do something, keep my... Uh, keep my uh, mind occupied and keep the fitness level up so I decided to take a course in refereeing. If you think in terms of um, Monday to Friday uh, I'm working in health and safety and at the weekends I've become a football referee but I think um, you've got to put it in perspective. Your job comes first because your job is what pays what you do in life, your nice things that you do in life and then the refereeing comes into play. I try my best to, to um, I think, become more communicative and I think that's happened because of the refereeing. So here at Pendrick, at the Steeplejack company, I can come into the office and I can look at people, I can talk to people the way that they want me to talk to and it's the same in a football park. You can see a big six foot five centre half is going to need an awful lot of hardness or hard talking to, whereas maybe the, the small winger needs a wee bit of encouragement whilst he's having a, an absolute abysmal game. It's just one of these attributes I've tried to work on over the years and I think it's worked.